This is gonna go on until 11 o'clock, isn't it? I keep forgetting to mention things or show the artwork and go over who the creative team is. And I know you guys probably don't really care about that. Like, at least, at the very least, you want to see the artwork. But you don't care, like, who writes it, who's the artist. But I, I like to be, make my videos more professional. As professional as I can get them without having to edit them. And honestly, my cousin, like, who's a huge, who's huge into editing and all that stuff with his YouTube channel, says I don't need to do it that much. You're, there are points where I do need to do it, I should do it, but for the most part, I don't think I need to do it. Um, I, I think I just need to, like, get into the habit of editing again. He's gonna teach me how to edit and we're gonna get, like, better at it, because once we, um... Why was that? Why, why did we say that? I think we're angry just going over how to improve our channels and just kind of came up with that idea. Because he likes to, he, he said time and time again he wants to, he wants to help me to help him with his like, scripts and stuff. But anyways, without further ado, this is the complete February 2023 haul. Uh, all trades, no floppies, slash single issues. Let's get right on to it. The first two up are two comics that, uh, well, it's a series in general that I can get my local library, all two volumes, complete series, at my local library, and not, like, G-Milks, Ancient Loans, anything like that, where I have to wait because it's from other libraries. No, it's my actual local library that's 10 minutes away from me. Um, and they're always in stock. It's never checked out. Uh, and this is, the series in question is all two volumes of Sleepless by Sarah Vaughn, with artwork done, well, written by Sarah Vaughn, and artwork done by Leila Lila, Lila, Lila De Luca. I'm just going to go over who the first two people are. There's four people credited here, but I'm not, I'm not going to care about colorist and letterers. No, I'm just going to, you know, I'll show it. If I remember to do that. Um, and I think volume two is the same. Yeah, volume two is the same. Wait, is it? It says Deep Ron. No, it's, it's, my, my eyes were, my vision was like, and I was like, Let's let's, let's 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 make him dyslexic. Let's let's, let's let's make him let's like make him dys dyslexic for like five seconds. Anyways, uh, so volume one. So the reason why I got this was because one is a series that I really liked. Two, it was a two. It's the last two Sarah Vaughn image comics that I needed. And I know it's like very um, specific, but for image comics, I like to get at the very least image comics. I like to get all the books written by that author. If, if I like them at least. You know, there's some there's some books where I'm like, yeah, maybe I should have gotten this book because I don't like this author, but you know, it's kinda like on the fence about whether I should get more, but for the most part I'm like, yeah, I want to get all these books from this author. I mean, I've, I've, I've already done it for authors I'm not really too sure about how their writing is how writing is. I'm not, I'm not too sure about their like their writing. You know, like, oh, I don't know anything about them. Maybe I shouldn't get that, but I've done it in the past. But for the most part, I want to get everything that they've they, 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 they done. At least what's credited on the Image Comics website. And this is the last two things I needed. Last two comics I needed. And I don't think there's anything else she's done that isn't credited on Image Comics. And then the third reason for why I got all two volumes was because even though I had to pay full price for volume one, sixteen ninety nine. I got volume three for three ninety nine. Now I understand that this is a two volume series, so they, they didn't want to make. And they probably knew it was gonna be eleven issues, so they didn't want to charge. They didn't want to make that nice little ten dollar discount. Um, well, six dollar discount because it's subtracting money, but they didn't want to make volume one that their nine nine ninety nine introductory price, which I think is really annoying because I think every two volume series from Image Comics, at the very least, two volume series. Volume 1 should be 10 bucks, no matter what. No matter what. I don't care about, oh, well, this series is only 8 issues. And each, but, you know, as long as it's no longer than 190 pages, like, Monstrous is probably the best price you're going to get at the 10 bucks discount, the discount, a $10 introductory price, you know, that, that thing. Um, if it's more than that, I understand, like, the, like I would not expect them to get, have given me, what's the furthest place from here, that 200 plus page book for 10 bucks. I get that, because it was, it was volume one, it's an ongoing series and everything. I get that, but, like, if it's, like, this size, you should get, should be giving it to me for 10 bucks. Or should be in a community to me. It's not weird, but you should only charge me 10 bucks for it. And here is the artwork. I'm just going to do the second uh, page. I'm trying to do that for all these. I, I didn't want to show too much, um, my spoilers. For me, too. But these are, this is a series I've read before. Um, and it's a very good series, too. Uh, so, 
But I would only recommend you pick it up. I, I recommend you pick it up if you can get it like at a discount. If you need, if you need two, both volumes for 10 bucks, definitely, definitely pick it up. That's like a steal. Um, but I would say to kind of like, maybe see if, actually, no, issue one isn't free on Kindle. But, um, find a way to get like issue one for free. I mean, it should be for free. But, um, it's not on Image Comics official site. I don't think at least. Uh, but it's... If you like Saga, you'll probably like this. It's like Saga, but it's a little bit slower. A little bit, like, more atmospheric. It's not as action-heavy, obviously. Since it's a team or teen comic. And there's, like, maybe, like, two fights. There's, there's enough fights. And no, there's not two fights. It's, like, maybe for every three issues, there's a fight. And that's... Not, even that's being generous. Uh, and, like, what do you... Consequence... What do you... Consequence... What do you, uh... The, what, do you, what would you define as a fight? Which would it be like? It's like a, you know. All right, so would it be just like a one hit, or would it be like a actual like stadium battle ass shit? But anyways, one through six from volume volume one collects one through six, and volume two collects seven to eleven. All eleven series, all eleven series, all eleven issues in this two volume series. I think I had to go with the artwork. I, go over, I went over who wrote it. It was, was Sarah Vaughn. I kind of had to. I'm sorry, six minutes. Oh, long. Sorry, I've been six minutes. Uh, the next one is Sharky the Bounty Hunter, written by Mark Millar, with artwork by Simone Bianchi. Simone Bianchi? Is that Simone Bianchi? On to the second page. Whoa, hey, it's not uh, fall off my bed when I'm still holding it. Not fall off the bed, but let me, let me not drop it while it's still in my hand. It's the artwork. Uh, it looks pretty interesting. I'm a big fan of Mark Millar, and also a big fan of getting a 1999 book for 1999 trade for four bucks. I don't understand why it's gonna be twenty bucks. Like, I think every like this size should always be sixteen ninety nine at the very least. It's six issues too. It's all six issues. This six issue mini series. I guess I hope it's a mini series, but knowing Mark Millar, he has twenty thousand. Uh, he has, like, five sequels of Shark the Bounty Hunter already out. Mark Millar is probably tied with Robert Kirkman and... Well, it's, it's Robert Kirkman. With how many how, how many Image comic series he's written. He's written a lot. And so many... So much so. And it's not like, oh, okay, he's just on one series. So I'd have to wait until July to get caught up if I, if I had the money. You know, say if I had the money for it. Um, but no. It's like he's... There's so many series. There's one coming out in August. There's one coming out in September, I believe. And it's like one coming out in October. He probably writes one image comics book a month. Like one, one issue of a series coming out per month at least. Maybe even by week. He writes a lot. And it's kind of hard to be a Mark Millar fan. Especially one as big as I am. And you know to be like oh I need this one. And I need that one. I need that one. And then Kick-Ass that has a bunch of spin-offs. And it's not all written by him sure. But it's still Kick-Ass. Um, it's just like wow dude. Let me slow down a bit. You don't have to... I understand, like, you're a big-name writer, and you probably get a lot of money, and that's probably paying for whatever hobby you have, or you're just rent in general, but come on. Slow slow down just a tad bit. And Mark, Mark Millar is, like, a crowd-pleaser, too. I can only think of one YouTuber who... Well, two YouTubers who hate them. And it was kind of ironic who hates writing, at least. And what's kind of ironic about them, too, is they like a lot of, like, very controversial writers, and not in a good way, either. But anyways, then that's their opinion. Like, I'm not gonna fault them for it. There are two YouTubers that, like, I'm, like, they're classic YouTubers. It's Comic Pop and Link Car on top of the fourth wall. They're classic YouTubers. Like, ones I've been watching for a long-ass time. Longer than a bunch of them I've been credited before. Like, thinking critical. I've been watching um, them for twice the amount of time as I've been, as I've been watching thinking critical. And thinking critical is when I like Mark Millar, too. Actually, has had them on the show a few times. But yes, anyways, that's that. Next one up is and yeah I, okay so I, I just said I just said how I like to get all the I think I mentioned this in this cut how I like to get all the um image comics books by this writer at once but this time around I was like you're, so this time around for the eleven for the eleven comic trade is like oh okay, eleven all in one day that for the most part I did because it was um it was on sale like, I was like okay why am I gonna try to get all these comics like this by this writer um. No, let's do this instead because it was a good sale. A lot of these I wanted for a long time, and it was on sale. And one of them was vinyl. Now this, how quickly did this go on? There, well not quickly because they've had it so long. Let's see. 
They've said that they've had that for that long. It's, it, it was like last year they had this in stock, like last April. Now, how quickly did this go? Let's say like they put it last time. This was last time it was full price nineteen eight ninety nine, and now it's ten ninety nine. And that was like a, a one visit later. That was the best thing. And yeah, okay, I, I did get three trades full price, um, including sleepless, but I don't actually include sleepless, but, um, so I, probably the next time where I see them, but no, it shouldn't be that way, because uh, unless it's sleepless, uh, and unless it's sleepless, not including sleepless, the other two trades I got were very new. Like there, one, one was, like, December, and the other one was, like, January. So, anyways, I'm gonna look at my name. Okay. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna try to hurry up a bit. Alright, so, one through six of vinyl, written by Doug Wagner, with artwork done by Daniel Hilliard, I believe. And then colorist Dave Stewart. I will only... Yes, Daniel, Daniel Hilliard, I was right. Um, there, I'm going to say the colorist. I'm, I'm going to say the colorist is, in that case, because it's Dave Stewart. You can't, you can't not credit Dave Stewart. So let's go over the artwork right here. Nice little two-page spread, kind of. And this was pretty interesting, too. This is, I'm not going to go over what each book is about, but this was, like, in the back of it. So it's a black comedy full of gore, guts, and a great army of fascinating characters. The Manson family meets Texas, Texas Chainsaw Massacre with Charlize Theron cast in one of the main roles. Which, almost all of that, like, spoke right to me. I was like, okay. And last time I saw it, last time I didn't get it, I was really annoyed, but now I'm not, because I got it for 10 bucks. 10, 9, 10.99, yes, but 10 bucks. Ah, they're going upstairs! Alright, you can get your Because they're doing their, they're renovating the bathroom and always really loud about it too. I think he's going to take a shower or something. Because he did, he opened, he opened the wrong door. Alright, the next one up is Sins of the Black Flamingo. And yeah, this is one of those books probably, but it, it looks pretty interesting. I almost did, I could have gotten for 10 bucks rather than, rather than full price, sixteen ninety nine. But I also got it early. I got it a week early, because, um, well, technically a week early, because, uh, in Newberry Comics is direct market? And Amazon is not. Whatever one the non direct market is, is the one that, like, the one, one that, whichever one is the one that gets them the earliest is Newberry Comics. And whatever, whichever one gets them, whichever one gets them a week later, at least, is uh, Amazon. Which I find so weird. Like, the, the best, like, the top number one online re retailer, and you don't do, you know, do same day delivery for when the books come in. Like, I mean, like, you know, when, they, when they release in comic shops. I find that really hard to believe. Yeah, okay, and was not known for comics, but still. Alright, so this one collects, it's written by Andrew Wheeler, with the artwork by Travis Moore, and it collects 1 through 5, I believe. Yeah, 5 issues. Sixteen ninety nine. I think, for Image Comics, if it's 6 issues, it should be sixteen ninety nine, and then 5, it should be fourteen ninety nine, and 4, it should be twelve ninety nine. I don't think... It's very really controversial for me to say. I know I'm being a little stingy, and it's just two bucks in some cases. But if I'm paying it for, if I'm paying it like a hundred for like a hundred page book, sixteen ninety nine, which is coming up. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna get the next one. So here's a great example of a book that's very thin. You can see how thin this is. This is um, it has Andrew Wheeler and then I work for Travis Moore. I went over that, so I'll put that away. Next one up is, actually, I can't put that way, so I'm going to go over the... So this is Rogue's Gallery, um, by Hannah Rose May, with artwork, with artwork, uh, co-written by Dokken Chabley, with artwork done by J Justin Mason. So, this only collects four issues. It's all four issues, uh, four issues of this miniseries. sixteen ninety nine, And it's not like, oh, issue one is, like, 50 pages, and issue two is 40 pages. No, it's the same amount of book you usually get. Look how thin this book is. And it's sixteen ninety nine. Even by Image Comics standards, this is kind of a rip-off. Like, this would be at least fourteen ninety nine, like, like, two years ago. I don't know if it's like the author says, oh no, I want to make it full price, because this is a, like, a crowd-pleaser series. Everyone loves it. I don't know. It just This is so thin that it's already, we already got, like, a bit of a, like, a not a spine crease, but, um, like that. And then when it's showing up here, what do you call that? No, it's not a spine crease, but a not a spine indent. They get what I'm saying. And then, like, you compare it to this one, which is the same price. Like, come on, really? Alright, so... And that was one through four. And that was Hannah Rosemary. I don't know where... Oh, I didn't go over the artwork. Let's go over the artwork. Right 
quickly here. I did it. Did you put this into the black flamingo? I don't, I don't know if I did. Ah. Uh, did I? I did. I did. I did. I remember now. I remember. And I, I, I know when I make one of my tangents, I usually forget what I'm doing completely. Alright, so I got that. Next one up is Stellar, written by Joseph Keatings, with artwork by Brett Bell Ble 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 Blevins. Now, the only reason why I knew this book even existed was because I had seen, I was looking up Shudder by the uh, same, uh, same author. And I'd wanted that. I was like, oh, I'm going to get that if I can't go this week. But they have my, have my local library, thankfully. Except for maybe volume five. I'm hoping they have all five volumes. But the library that I had, it was just one library that was, that was credited. And they didn't have volume five. So I was like, eh, I'm not going to have volume five. I'll probably do what I did for Deadpool and sell the, sell the seven high seas. But hey, that's what you got to do. With it. You get one volume, you know. But anyways, if it was like two volumes, I probably would have been just like, you know what the hell with it, you know, sleepless I did that for. But anyways, actually they had all two volumes, so there you go, even better. But anyways, this collects all six issues of Stellar. And let's go with the artwork. It's pretty good artwork. I, I, I like this kind of artwork, but it's a bit more detailed, not not as cartoony. Like, I get it, it's a, it's a comic book, but still. Alright, so they are going to be doing... Alright, so next one's Blog Bodies by Dilkin Shapley with artwork by Gavin Fullerton. It's an OGN. No issues collected here. It's just all one. Here's the artwork. There you go. And this was, you know, this is Crime Boy. Because it kind of like, when you see like this kind of thing, you think like kind of like a horror sci fi kind of thing, but it's anything but. Um, next one up is Body Bags by Jason Pearson. Body Bags Volume 1, Father's Day by Jason Pearson. And this one collects either one through four of Father's Day or just two issues of Body Bags. It, 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 right on the back, they have one through four, but you go into the inside flap, which is the number one place that I go, and it says one through two. It's very weird. Yeah, it's written, by, written and drawn by Jason Peterson. Double threat. It, it, sounds, it sounds weird saying double threat. It is the, the um, correct way of saying it is triple threat, but he didn't do anything else. He just did the artwork. I guess maybe he did the inks. Let's see if, let's see if he did the inks, didn't he? Because who else is credited? Nope. Yes, colors. Yep. So yeah, triple threat. He also did the colors. With digital chameleon, but still. Yeah, I did it. I mean, with the artwork. Let's do it again. Why not? What do you want? And yes, volume two. They do have a volume two, but it's only available on Kindle. Which I'm going to have to wait for my next incentive to get that. It's not too expensive. You know, only collect, what, two issues? Each issue is pretty long, but it only collects two issues. It should have been, like, five bucks, honestly. And it's let's price. Alright, so next one up is Second Chances, by written by Ricky Mamone, with artwork by Max Bertolini. Second Chances, it's one, it's, it's uh, all four issues of this series, main series. Yep, I was right. Alright, so let's go with the artwork. It's black and white, and it's kind of good black and white. It's not like the, it's not like too sketchy. Yeah, I guess yeah, see, seeing it from afar is a lot worse than seeing it um like up close. So up, up close is pretty good artwork, for, even for being in black and white. Now black and white for me, I don't mind black and white comics. And there's a there's a point to them. This, this one that seems to be something like a crime comic, so it makes sense. You know, it's like crime like grit, gritty, so you know, I'm not making it more thematically gritty by making it black and white. I get that, but for me, um, but for me no, no, I, I don't mind that, but. I only like it when there's when it, when it's obvious that they made it in black and white to begin with. Like take um like Walking Dead for example. That they want to make it, they want to take black and white ever since they came up with the idea. And now it's in, now it's in color, completely ruining the idea of the Walking Dead's premise, um, in my opinion at least. Uh, but then we have. But then on the flip side, we have Grip of the Covenant by Simon Roy. And that was black and white, like, sketchy, weird black and white. And it was almost like they didn't... It was almost like there was, like, a um, a budget concern. They didn't, they, they, no, they didn't have a colorist, so, you know, they got to make it black and white. And so it swung, so I got the book out in time. It was just really weird, in my opinion. And that was also one of the books that I had gotten last time. Not last time, but a few... A month ago, or so ago. And it was now on... Now it was now in the... Clearance section at New Bray Comics. It's a bunch of them that last time I went. I believe I believe I mentioned that last time, but just in case, just in case it didn't. There you go. And the and then one well, one of the one of the last one, the final one of the eleven comics. So only only on comic eleven out of seventeen. 
but I mean, we're not we're halfway there. We're halfway there. Uh, it's Paris, written by Andy Watson, with artwork by Simon Gain. Now, this is borderline, um, black and white, sketchy, kind of weird kind of artwork. It's definitely a lot more, like, um, sketchy then. It was a definitely different kind of artwork than it was for body, not body bag, the, the Ricky Malone book. I don't know what it's called. I'm not even forgetting what it was called. But yes, this is, um, it's like a romance kind of comic. It looks pretty interesting. It's a fairy tale romance in the streets of, set in the streets of 1950s Paris, which I was like, okay, why not? Um, I already, I already have one romance comic. Now, I was going to get Sunburn, the also, also an image comics book written by, uh, Andy, Andy Watson. But they didn't have my, they had my local library, but it's too new for them to take it out right now. And it's kind of annoying because there's another book that they did that for. And it's been like months now. And it's still like, no, I can get that one. So I don't know how long, I don't know how long I'm going to wait for Sunburn. But yeah. There you go. I may have hit myself. Yes, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty expensive trade, but it's a lot. It's a pretty thick trade, too. So it's, it's worth it. It's like worth, not worth it. It is worth it, but it's, you know, worth it. Worth the price tag. There you go. All right, so next one up is, especially if it's on sale. If it's on sale, next might go. I'm definitely, definitely gonna get it. The next one is probably the best price you can get a, a best best price, best like size of an image comic. It's nineteen ninety nine. It's a few uh, written by Sean Lewis, but it's artwork by Hayden Sherman, uh, collecting all six issues. Yeah, I know six issues of thick ass trade, and it's actually one I've read before. The whole reason why I was getting trying to get every Sean Lewis book from Image Comics this this month and last month ish is because of this. That's the whole reason why. Because of how much I absolutely adored the few. This is a highly recommended book. Alright, it's so gonna we'll be artwork. Um yeah, twenty bucks for a thick tree like this, like three hundred and thirty six pages. That's an insanely good price. And that's why I like image comics. Image comics is like, hey, we know we're not Marvel Comics or DC Comics. We don't have the characters, but we do have the good price tag. Sometimes, you know, I, I did this rant for that 1699 Ford issue miniseries that was 100 pages. That was pretty expensive for that. Um, but, you know, it's not, not perfect. You know, no, like no one is. No one's perfect. Uh, next one is Saints, all nine inches in that series, written by Sean Lewis again. Uh, artwork this time done by Benjamin Mackey. I almost said Benjamin Percy. I don't think he does artwork. I think he just has writing. He has, he has a big green arrow. Um, I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to talk over them. There's the artwork for Saints, the bo the the Book of Blades. This is all nine issues. So this time it's not like too oversized. <laughs> the music too. I just heard the thing go on. All right. So one through nine. All right. No one. I'm gonna go over the things. Next one up. Next one up is Prism Stalker, Sloan Leong, and Double Triple Threat. Because they also did the artwork. Because it was the only the letterer. I, I accidentally credited when I went over this book last time. I accidentally credited letterer as being the um, which we call it there, the uh, color. No, yeah, the colorist artwork artist. Right, so prison stalker. All five issues of this series. There's a sequel coming out from Dark Horse, not Image Comics, mind you. No, Dark Horse. It's really weird. And I'll go over the artwork. And this looks, this looks pretty interesting. You know, really, the only reason why I got this is because, or one of the main, main, reasons, main reasons why I got this was because it was all in one, number one. It wasn't like a 50 volume series. Um, and also, it was one of them I couldn't get on influence. I put it in, I said, no, we don't got it. I'm like, alright, fine. Well, I'll purchase it myself. And also, I thought it was a fantasy comic, because that's what, that's what uh, Amazon had it credited as, but it's not. I know, and I'm so I'm still tech tech. I'm still kind of doing the fantasy, the image comics fantasy collectathon. I thought I had them all, or at least I at least have most of them, but I don't have them all. I don't. Uh, speaking of fantasy, this next one is a fantasy comic, and that is Junie Ba's Monkey Meets, Volume One, the first batch. And it's again double triple threat. He does the artwork too. I'm gonna go over. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over a few pages. Because it's different, like, styles of artwork. Or, like, one's color, one's in color, one's not in color. And where's one that's not in color? Where's the one that's not in color? Right here. Yeah, this looks very... You can tell it's a very different kind of comic. And I, I do like this kind of... Uh, different kind of art style. Different kind of, like... A different kind of book. Because uh, it, it, it looks to be fast-paced. It's not like with, um... 
you may, you know, and you get that second chance, but it's not like with Carmen by uh, uh, Golia March, where it was too different. It was too not not wordy, but it was like almost like an overstated welcome a bit. I, I didn't, I didn't, I kind of did hate that book, but I think I, I think I kind of I didn't, I didn't give it a second chance. It was just kind of like weird for me, a bit too different, I guess you could say. Kind of like a manga. I don't, I not like a huge, the biggest fan of manga is a bit too different for me. That's how I feel about, um, which I probably shouldn't go. This, yeah, I know, but no, I, I, it's very, it's very hard to explain how I feel about manga because I still like it, you know. But I haven't checked out any mangas from my local library, nor do I own any. But yes. Anyways, all five issues of this main series. And then next one up, we got two last, last two. Nice. All right. So next one up is Texas Blood, Volume Three, um, written by Chris Condon with artwork by Jason. Jason, with artwork by, done by J, uh, Jack, Jake, I, I was right, I said Jack, but uh, Jacob Phillips, not Jack Phillips, Jacob Phillips, <laughs> Jason Phillips, alright, there's the artwork, I'm trying to think of the kid, kid's name, is. there's a kid from my school, isn't it, wasn't Jason Phillips, was it, it doesn't, doesn't sound right for me, but anyways, there's the artwork for volume 3 of Texas Blood, and yes, there's already a issue 20 out. Oh yeah, sorry, there's clocks 14 to 19 of, um... Texas, Texas, Texas Blood. I don't know why I was, like, blank on, blank, blanking out on the name. Yeah, there's already issue, issue 20 of this series out, so... That means there's a volume 4 coming out soon. Not soon. They, they, we don't even have anything about any, any information on issue, issue 21. And I don't think issue 20 is the, like, a special epilogue issue either. Actually, I know it's not because it's part of a part of a new, um, part of a new, not run, but it's part of a new arc. Then finally, last but certainly not least, although, you know, mileage may vary, is Love Everlasting Volume 1 by Tom King with artwork done by, I go in here to look up who the artwork, who the artist is, the little name at least, with artwork done by Elsa Chartier. A bunch of other ones, I know Matt Hollingsworth is a colorist, but... I'm not gonna go over everything. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go over everything. And this artwork does kind of actually remind me of a Dark Horse comic I really, really enjoyed. Um, it was definitely a different kind of book. It was not. It's probably not anything similar to Love Everlasting, but it was. Um, it was. It was done by the Wonder Girl writer. Why am I a little blanking on the name? Um, of course, I know it's a library edition too. Before I even know what the book was called. I forget, I forget what the book was called, but it was done by whoever did the most recent Wonder Girl series that got prematurely cancelled. Uh, 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 Jody. We'll look up right now. So yeah, this is, oh, sorry, this is one through five of Love, Love Everlasting. And you can actually, it's a little bit bloody, so maybe it is, I mean, it's closer to that series than it actually is other than that series. Love it here. I mean, it is a bit closer to the actual, what the actual book was. I'm blanking out the name. Alright, so let's do this. Let's go over with 1032 already. I'm gonna hurry up. I'm, I'm glad I did this that when I did it, because I, the last time I, I did do a, a first cut, first ever cut, was a nighttime video. I just, I just had extra time in my hands right, th and, right then and there. So I was like, you know what, let's do it. But let's do it then. Let's do it now. I mean, it's gonna be, you know, in... Joel Jones. Joel Jones was the art, was the author. <laughs> was the author. I said, I said artist by accident. I said, like, I don't know. No, this is the Artist, no author. My God, no wait. She is. She is. She did both. She did both. Author and, il and illustrator. Double threat for Wonder for Wonder Girl. But what was the book that she did? There we go. Lady Killer, an absolutely fantastic book. Oh, that's what the artwork of um, Love Everlasting reminded me of. Because that was that was the feel they were going for Lady Killers. It's like kind of like a fifties like romance comic, but it's a movie twist. But Lady Killer was absolutely awesome. It was an incredible book, like top tier talent there. You can get it for on Amazon for ten bucks or ten bucks. No, sorry, twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Nineteen nineteen ninety nine. I'm I'm on I'm on ten bucks. But no, you can get it for nineteen ninety nine. It's a thick ass straight and it's a tall one too. I would say get it. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic book. And it's more expensive on the Kindle for Kindle. I find that so. I find that so funny and kind of scummy. I didn't know it's a library edition, but you're not gonna know that when you're reading the trade on. We mean we mean reading it digitally. I think no matter what, it should be like, it should be like 10 bucks to start. But anyways, that, as I say, is that. 17 trades. I got a good amount of books. Uh, I just feel like I could have gotten more. 
but I couldn't have, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, oh, well, technically I could have. I could have saved my money for New Bright Comics. I wouldn't be able to get all the other, all the other ones. But that I, I just say is that I will see you guys on the next one. Wow. I said that's so weird. I'm going to make this 30 minutes. There we go.